What's up everybody, my name is Braskus, and welcome to Beholder 2 Beta. So I uh, played quite a, well, not a lot, but I played some of Beholder uh, a long time back on the channel, and it seemed to do pretty well. And I always liked it, but I'd never really gotten very far into it, and that one was sort of this property management and this kind of Big Brother is watching sort of scenario, and you were the head of like an, uh, you were the landlord of this living establishment, and you had to decide whether it was something you wanted to rat out your neighbors if they were breaking the law, or maybe take sympathy with them and uh, pity on them in bad circumstances and help them out and sort of pass the buck. Well, I noticed just today that Beholder 2 Beta was now in my Steam library, and I figured, you know what? I had so much fun trying out the original, and it was so fascinating that I want to try this one. So, this is the beta version. There may be bugs, and there are features that are probably not implemented yet, but I'm too curious to let it go, so we're going to try this out. George Hemnitz. Hi! Guess you're the one I'm waiting for. My name is George Hemnitz. Nice to meet you, Evan. You must be a big shot, Evan, right? Why? I've been with the Ministry for 8 years, 4 months, and 12 days. In that time, I've processed 18,342 applications. I've had 1,629 cups of coffee and witnessed 284 incidents of civil disorder. Now ask me how many times I got sent to welcome a new employee on his first day. How many? Zero, Evan. Zilch. Not once in all those 3,052 days, so you've got to be a big deal, right? Uh, no clue. I think I think you got me mixed up with someone else. I'm here to be a simple clerk. My name's Evan Redgrave. Redgrave? As in, Redgrave, Redgrave. Oh god, your father. Go on, Hemnitz, what did you want to say? My deepest condolences. Can't imagine what you must be feeling right now. And to think I saw him just 58 hours and 23 minutes before he... Before his death. We weren't that close. To be honest, we haven't talked for a decade. I didn't even know he worked here until yesterday. He didn't just work here. Your father was one of the top most respected people in the ministry. One of the top management. And the most amazing thing is, he never looked down on subordinates. He was an open and honest man. What happened? Did police make any headway? We aren't told much, so I only have a fact or two. The rest is gossip and fantasies of daft employees. What are the facts? 47 hours and 23 minutes ago, your father fell out of the ministry's top floor window. He fell down 37 floors, hit the pavement, and died on the spot. The law enforcement is working on finding out what happened and why. At least, that's what we're told. That's not much. Perhaps I have some important info on your father's death. But it's best to discuss it somewhere quiet, after I instruct you and show you to your desk. Because, you know, priorities. Ready for your first day at the Ministry? Let's go. Alright, what do we got? Ministry building is rightfully considered to be one of the most beautiful and fully featured structures in the country. See for yourself. 37 floors over 226 meters, 12,742 offices, and over 325,000 visitors a day. Sometimes I try to calculate how many consumer goods all those people could have produced if they weren't so busy waiting in line all the time. But usually that's too much for me and I give up. Alright. Not the statue of the wise leader on the square. Took 5,500 tons of concrete and 2,400 tons of metal to make it. This statue weighs over 8,000 tons. To build it, we had to cancel the construction of eight kindergartens and hospital. Impressive, isn't it? Great. I, li I really like this new art style. Your father died here, on the cold, indifferent pavement. Now it's the favorite spot for gossipers. You can eavesdrop, even though you're not likely to hear anything nice or useful. However, you should get used to it. Job specifics? No matter what position you're in, you've got to listen in. Notice everything and report to the higher-ups. Okay. Can I listen to these guys? Not yet. I don't know how. Show me to my work area, Hemnitz. Uh, we going this way? Wait, no, that's outside. I went the wrong way. I'm sorry. It's my first day. Oh, it's Ministry safety in and is a separate reason to be proud. Security guard is your best friend here, especially when you get along. 
our guards have prevented 985 terrorist attacks this year alone. That's almost four attempts a day. So just in case, carry cash and don't ruin their stats. If you know what I mean. Uh, I don't really know what you mean. You mean keep cash to bribe the guards in case they don't want me to go inside? Uh oh. Oh, look, someone got caught. New technology is guarding humanity. Newly developed optic fiber connects those frames with the main ministry register. Connection speed is over 10 gigabit per second. And he prohibited something. Like I said before, there's 37 floors and twice that much underground, at least according to official data. The higher the floor, the better the job. If you work hard, you might make it to the top. But keep in mind that lots of people are trying to get promoted, so there's some stiff competition. What wouldn't people do for a promotion? Some set their co-workers up, some suck up to the bosses. Some nutheads even attempt career progression by working hard. With people. When <laughs> it's all set up, getting anywhere by working hard is next to impossible. Though I believe a guy with your last name should have no issues moving up. One day you'll get promoted and enter that elevator and everyone else will be jealous. Thanks, Hamnets. We should always remember why we are here and thanks to what or who. It's worth paying your dues to the person that sacrificed everything to his people now every now and then. Remember, the wise leader is always vigilant. Everything shall pass, but the enemy shall not. So the last one was kind of Cold War, Brick Brotherish. This one's feeling very, mm, excuse me, very uh, North Korean. <laughs> With the whole glorious leader thing. That's where we hold general meetings. They are usually pretty mundane, people getting rewarded or reprimanded. Sometimes we also publicly condemn the actions of our neighbor states. Some smartass suggested we call those meetings five minutes of hatred, but as far as I know it got written up at once and couldn't ever suggest anything again. We also sing anthems sometimes. For example, this month I sang the main state anthem 426 times. You really like statistics, don't you? The ministry's first floor is 440,000 square meters. Incredible, isn't it? 440,000 square meters of bureaucratic heaven. See those lines? Every single person standing there has come here with a problem. Whether it's a real issue or not isn't up to us to decide. Our job is to send people to the right department. But it's important not to be an overachiever. We don't want people thinking the Ministry doesn't have anything better to do. This dude is a klutz. Always drops stuff. Keeps forgetting his name. You can help him if you want, but helping others isn't something we usually do around here. On one end, of course, they might be grateful. On the other, you never know what people are up to. Many of them here won't miss a chance to trick or backstab you. And I wish I could say it's just a figure of speech, but, well, it's up to you what to do. I'm sure I'll help him out. Yes, of course, Let, let's all kick Morris. Why hasn't kicked Morris today? I've already had coffee poured over my head and a pin put on my seat. Isn't it so funny to push clumsy Morris, the doormat, and laugh at him crawling around collecting his papers? I'll help him. Let me help you. Haha, <laughs> very funny, young man. I'm serious, I'd be happy to help you collect everything up. R really? Are you from another ministry? Or a newcomer? Today's my first day. That explains it. I wonder if you'll stay that way or do you become just like the others. Anyway, thank you very much, young man. Clumsy Morris isn't the most pleasant or useful friend, but... You can be sure I'll return your kindness to the best of my modest abilities. Don't mention it. Good choice. Keep in mind you can't help everyone no matter how much you try. Trust me, I tried. Sometimes the best choice is not to get involved. That's intimidating. Cafeteria? And here's the common room. You'll be spending a lot of time here working or talking to co-workers. That's your desk. Take a look around, I'll give you your first assignment as soon as you're ready. Uh... 
That's a big room. Nope, don't go that way. All right, let's just go talk to him at uh, Hemnitz. You had a look around? I'll show you to your workplace and show you the ropes. Tell me about my job. So, we're in the reception room. People working in these booths assign visitors to ministries and offices. This is the front line of our bureaucratic defense. Only the chosen ones can pass it. Do you mean us? Do you think you've been chosen? People often consider themselves to be special, but in fact we're all the same. 2 square meters of skin, 206 bones, 5 liters blood. Well, as long as you eat well and aren't an honorary blood donor. And eventually we all die. Except for the wise leader, of course. But before you die, you need to work hard. You'll be dealing with visitors, listening to their appeals, figuring out which forms they need and which ministries and available offices they have to go to. You've got to press the right buttons in the right terminal. Print out the referrals, give them to visitors. Uh, okay. What kind of forms? Currently we have four types of forms. Request, complaint, denunciation and information. You select one depending on the appeal. If you're having difficulties determining the appeal type, use the hints in the terminal. What ministries are there? In fact, there are many ministries, established and abolished every day, and we never have time to update our register. Fortunately, the big six are always around. The Ministry of Order, Patriotism, Social Care, Labor, Culture and Sports, and Science and Technology. So just listen to visitors carefully and decide which of these ministries to send them to. And the offices? Each ministry has several offices. You can see the weekly operating schedule of the offices on the right. How? Are you medicating over there? If there are no available offices, reject the appeal. Okay, everything's clear so far, in theory. Well now, let's see how much theory differs from practice. So let's start with the basics, the forms. Your task for today is to process five visitors. You'll get reputation points for meeting your quota. Reputation? I'd rather have money. Even in our ministry, reputation is much more valuable than money. Anyone can steal or find money, but reputation has to be earned. Without it, you can forget about promotions, rewards, and your whole career. If you don't have enough influence in the ministry, your colleagues won't even talk to you. What a good day. Ah. Uh, how to proceed the forms, take your seat, get a... Take your seat, get a set of forms, and start talking to visitors and filing out their information. Don't let me down. Uh, how can I reputation? He already told me that. We know about visitors, we know about work. Family? Working here is grueling. If I may ask, do you have a family? Of course I do. I have a wife, two children, a dog, and class the apartment like everyone else. And you? My wife and daughter. They are joining me a little later. Does your wife mind you working so much? I'm doing an important job and Rose knows that. All good citizens owe a debt to society, and it trumps everything else. Sometimes she's puzzled at how my debt seems to have gotten so large, but that's just a nice little joke of hers. Class D? Almost all officials who've worked here more than five years get a place in the line for Class D housing. We were on the waiting list for many years before we were awarded ours. It's like a fairy tale. We have our own bathroom. <laughs> I heard you got Class D apartment the right way. You're incredibly lucky. I suppose being a red grave has its advantages. How many children you have? Two. Aster is my pride and joy. She already knows all of last year's directives by heart, at the age of five. Adam is two years older. Aren't you proud of your son? The thing is that he is special. What happened? I spelled Jilnis Niger. What's that? It's ordinary black mold. Class J houses are full of it. It's very difficult to get rid of, and the consequences of spending too much time around it are, well, meningitis is not the best thing for a three-year-old child. Jesus, that's terrible. Not really. We've gotten used to it. Anyway, he's our son and we love him. Sometimes he even recognizes us. That is heartbreaking. They say it's not easy to get a dog these days. It's not so difficult, it just takes a while. You have to submit all seven types of application, pass medical examination, go through psychological and narcotic screenings, provide excerpts from your bank statements and the register of tenants, as well as an employment certificate and copies of all your papers, from your passport to the title deed for your fridge, and the neighbor's consent. Nothing special. Any experienced official can cope with it. Alright, we're good. Time for me to get to work.
Gotta process me some forms. Okay, welcome to the Patriot Terminal. Five forms. I guess, what do I do now? My colleague, Martha Kramer, has created a hostile work environment. She keeps opening the window and now I've got a stuffy nose. That would be a complaint. Um, I'm going to say, since it's a hostile work environment, probably the Department of Labor. Select available office. Uh, does it matter? I guess we'll send them to 606. Print. Next. Looks like I got one of them wrong. <laughs> Came to complain about the management at Foundry Number 2. The equipment's always breaking down and nobody even considers lowering production rates while it's being repaired. Well, he's complaining about management at Foundry Number 2. Uh, equipment is always breaking down. Now, again, I don't... I guess 950? There we go. Print. Okay, so this time I got them all right. I require assistance in arranging a really dedicated... Oh, in arranging a rally dedicated to the upcoming birthday of our great wise leader. Uh, that sounds like a re request... Uh, for patriotism, we'll give him to office number 645. Oh. Okay, I don't get the offices thing. What am I missing? Oh, is are these my available offices? Okay, my neighbor, the designer, Peter Bless, said yesterday that the cost... That our coat of arms looks like an upside-down pyramid. Um... That doesn't sound like anything. The peel type back. Okay, hang on. Uh, I guess denunciation. Designer Peter Bless said yesterday that our coat of arms looked like an upside down pyramid. I guess order. Now let's see. I can't see what that number is because these are kind of in my way. Can I do that? Okay. So 101. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. 212, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. 301, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. 357, I mean, they're all, except for 154, they look like they're all open on Mondays. Oh, and 78. Does this scroll down? Ah, yes it does, okay. So, I'm gonna actually refuse this one mistake there is an available office uh, okay I'm bad at this I haven't been able to collect my pension for two months it's all because someone with the same name died who can help me with this that's gonna be a re information um, social care 301 seems to be available oh Damn it. Okay. Next. I brought samples of the new uniform for our military orienting orienteering teams. Um that'll be an information. Samples of the new uniforms for our military orienteering teams. Well, mi military sounds like order 301 is occupied I guess now. 357 should be available. Damn it. Ministry Ugh, I'm terrible at this. Okay. Uh, can I do it again? Okay. Do something about the director of the Bumpy Roads Theater Group. They hired disabled actors, then torture them to make their performance more realistic. One guy had both his eyes taken out by a parrot. Wow. Um, that sounds like a complaint. That or it's a request. Uh, see, this is the part I don't get. Like, how do you determine what's a request and what's a complaint? I guess we'll go with the re request. Um, culture and sports. Uh, 279. Damn it. Denunciation. Okay. Okay, good afternoon. I have a little kitty, Agatha. I let her out yesterday and someone tied a can to her tail. Um, complaint. 
Uh, order? Social care? Patriotism? I guess order. 101. Print. There, I got one right. Woo! It's like the second one I've gotten right. Okay. Hi, so I wanted to add, and I have information on the whereabouts of one of the criminals. Uh, I'm going to say information. Order. Uh, 212. Damn it, that's a denunciation. I have a complete register of the newborns in our district. Who should I hand it over to? That's, please tell me that's information. Social care, uh, let's say office 301. Yeah, I got one right. <clears throat> Hello, I brought last year's cinema attendance data. As expected, the industrial drama Diode and I is number one. Uh, that has to be information. Culture and sports, I'm assuming. Um, 78's not open today. 279 is... Sweet, okay. I guess we'll go for another two hours. What does this say? Report to Hemnet. Oh, okay, so... Okay, I'm gonna do these five and then we'll go report to Hemnitz. I need a note certifying that I have no convictions. Who should I talk to? Uh, I'm gonna say that's a request. No conviction sounds like order. We'll put her in office 101. All right, we're getting the hang of this now. Um, next person. Hi, our maternity hospital's management won't let nurses go to the solidarity and loyalty rallies just because patients in labor get left unattended. Okay, um, denunciation maybe? Maternity's hospital management sounds like social, well, solidarity and loyalty rallies, maybe patriotism? 606, damn, okay, that's a complaint. Okay, Charles Stobart's bakery was selling cakes with the wise leader's face on them yesterday, it's an absolute outrage. That's gotta be denunciation. Um, I'm going to say that's probably patriotism, and we're going to go with number 154, no, not 154, 645 maybe? Nope, uh, 646 works. Alright, we got that one right, good. We got two forms left. I came to hand over the statistics on the total distance our athletes have run over the last 10 years. Information, sports and culture, uh, 279 maybe? Yes. Okay, I've only got one left. Please add me to the list of candidates to receive scientific grants. I've invented a new type of tank that can be used for farming during peacetime. That'll be a request. Uh, scientific grants. C390, yeah. There you go. Oh, wait, no, exit. Okay, let's chat with Hemnitz. Uh, performance report. I've met the quota, what's next? Great, keep it up. Actually, I have nothing more to tell you about your work. You're on your own now. Get settled in, meet your co-workers, and earn a reputation. If you keep at it and work hard eight hours a day, you could become the boss and get to work 12 hours a day. Isn't it exciting? I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, George. I'll mark it in the journal that you had your briefing. All the required documents are in the card near the table. Take them to Magda Rak Rakovic, boss's secretary. I'll wait for you by the statue. We have more to talk about. Okay. So, I think... What am I doing now? Take the documents from the cart. Okay. And then give them to Magda Rak uh, Rakovic.
What do you want? Hi. That's not a very respectful way to address an older woman now, is it? I'm sorry. Now what? Give her the documents. George Hemnitz asked me to give you these documents? You didn't look inside, I hope. I'm not interested. I didn't ask if you were interested. Reading sealed papers like these when you don't have a top secret clearance can cost you your freedom. Or your life. Do I make myself clear? Perfectly, but I prefer not to stick my nose into other people's business. I don't care where you stick any of your extremities. There are rules, regulations, and instructions that must be observed if you want to stay in the ministry for more than a day. If you make mistakes, nothing will save you. Not even your name. What's wrong with my name? You're still here? Don't try my patience. Sorry, already leaving. Jeez. Gotta talk to Hemnitz way back out on the street. Okay. So time to leave the ministry. Bum, 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 bum. And there are statues of that guy freaking everywhere. I wonder what George is going to tell me. Maybe he's got some information about my old man or something. Wait! It's me, Clumsy Morris. Do you remember me? You helped me collect those papers when everyone else ignored me. They promised to thank you. Here you are. It's not much, but it's all I can afford. There's no better teacher than a book. It helps you learn new skills. Thank you, Morris. I really appreciate it. No, thank you. I've been working here for 15 years and you're the first one who hasn't ignored me. No problem. So he gave me a book, I guess? Hi there. Bye there. Hemnets! Uh, he should be over here, right? By the statue? What a good day. What do you want to talk about? Heaven, it's about your father. The things that happened to him were just terrible. I have to tell you something. Go on. At the most, 20 people in our whole country know this information. I'm taking a huge risk divulging these details to you, so I have to ask you do not alert to anyone, okay? Let's have it. As you know, I was appointed to the position floor inspector several years ago, but at the same time I was enlisted to work in Department 6. Department 6? That's a myth. No thinking person really believes in it. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. Department 6 is considered to be a myth, because that's the way their leader wanted it. More precisely, that's how your father wanted it. My father was the head of Department 6? What were you doing there? Heimdall. Secret project helmed by your father was launched at the time. That's how we met. I was always good with numbers, so I was invited on board to assess statistical errors and their potential consequences. He didn't talk much about himself, but mentioned his son several times. And his eyes lit up when he did. He was proud of you, trust me. What else did he say? We didn't communicate for the last ten years. He mentioned that he no longer touched with you, but always hoped that someday you'd join him. Why do you think so? He wrote you a letter a few days before his death. He must have known what was going to happen to him. A letter? Do you have it with you? No, I keep it at home. I didn't expect you to appear so soon. I'll give you to it give it to you tomorrow and tell you everything I know. Somewhere quiet. Thank you, George. I don't know how to thank you. Don't mention it, Evan. Your father was kind to me. This is the least I can do for you. Thanks for telling me about my father, George. We'll have to talk tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay, so does that, like, I guess that ends the day? Oh. So this looks like home. All right, there's somebody knocking on my door, but I'm all out of time for this episode, guys, so I'm going to have to leave it here. I'm definitely going to go for at least one more episode of this. I'm having a whole bunch of fun with it, and I want to see where it goes. So thank you all so much for joining in. Uh, let me know what you think. 
if you'd like to see more, then let me know. I'll definitely do at least one more, like I said. But as always, I'm curious to see what you guys have to think about the game itself. So, sorry. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button. Feel free to leave a comment in the section below. And as always, guys, I'll see everyone in the next episode. Catch you guys later.